welcome as always. This is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO of Customized Minds. Thank you, thank you for coming back, joining me, getting some more great information that's going to help you be a super achiever as well as the best you possible. Let's dive into another, of course, great topic that we have on today. Let me ask you the question that is going to lead into that topic. Do you really know that you are the CEO? And I'm not talking about chief executive officer. I'm talking about chief emotional officer. Did you know that? Did you know that you are the chief emotional officer of your life, of your family, and of your team, your business, your organization, your community? Did you know that? Well, I'm going to explain what that really means and what that looks like for you on today. Here it is. See, number one, anyone that is a leader, anyone that is following you, following someone, has to be very careful about what it is their team is focused on. And the first thing as a leader, you have to understand your team's emotions. That is really what drives the success or the failure of any organization, any leader, or anyone following someone else. Because if my emotions are excited, engaged, enthusiastic, and empowered, inspirational, when I walk into the, 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 the environment, when I walk into the organization, whether it be work, home, school, community, whatever, if I have all of those positive emotions running through me, guess what? I'm probably going to deliver all my results. I'm probably going to deliver at the highest level possible, right? But if I'm down, if I'm worried, if I'm thinking about an argument, if I'm thinking that I'm not empowered or that I really don't like the people that I'm working with, that I'm not engaged, and I'm thinking about some other stuff besides my, my goals of the organization or the leader that I'm following, guess what's going to happen? Right. I'm not going to deliver. I'm not going to be you know, engaged. I'm not going to care. I'm going to deliver probably piss poor results in, in performance, therefore slowing the organization down. But guess who all that falls on? Yeah, you. It falls on you as the CEO, this, the chief emotional officer of anyone, anything that is following you. You have to drive and make sure that emotions are on the positive side because all of that energy, all of that synergy is going to allow them to achieve and deliver on their results. All right? So, the second thing is that you have to take a check of where your team is, where the people are that are following you. Are they on the right side or on the left side, the positive or the negative? What side are they on? So you can understand, are they focused on delivering or are they focused on their problems? Are they focused on solutions or are they focused on the challenges? You have to understand this as the chief emotional officer of your life, of your team, of people that are following you, and you have to get them to the positive side. But you can't do this without understanding and knowing where they are. So how do you do that? Well, you sit back, you analyze, you ask questions. Questions will reveal how people are feeling. Questions will reveal the state of mind that people are at. Questions will reveal where people are in their life and how they feel about their life. So it's your job again, this all goes back on you as the leader to understand the emotions, the state of emotion of where the people are that are following you. So of course you can get them over to the positive side and doing the appropriate things and delivering on those results. Understand again, it is your job as the CEO to make sure this happens. So your emotions have to be in check. You have to be focused on the positive. You can't be focused on the challenges all the time. Understand that the challenges are real, but at the same token, you have to put strategies, solutions, and really your emotions on the positive to get over those challenges. Because what you do, ultimately your team reflects and we'll do the same. We're all unique, we won't do it all the same way, but your team is going to be moving in the same direction as you if you get their emotions all on the same page. You don't have to control their emotions, you just need to get them on the same page so you all can move collectively in the same direction.
It's, it, it, it's nothing like moving collectively in the same direction. And I'm sure many of us have experienced where one is thinking that everybody's going in, in one direction, but the other 100 are going in a complete different direction. You don't want that. You want everyone pushing towards the same goal. Being the CEO, understand that you control and are responsible for emotions and getting them on the same page will get you moving in that direction. You have exactly what you say now. If you believe it now, it's yours to have right now today. The power of life for death is in the tongue. More importantly than mine, first, you got to believe in the heart. Believe in your heart, you can get everybody's emotions on the same page and in a positive way. Take care, share with your team. I'll see you back here on the next one.